Another great feature of Notebook 11 is the ability to add your own internet browser. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Insert menu, and I'm going to select Internet Browser. And this is actually a separate object now that I can select, I can resize, so I can uh, make changes to it the way I want. I can move the uh, browser bar to the top or to the bottom of that object. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click in the address bar and I can type in an actual web address or I can paste in one that I, I copied, which I've already done. I've copied one, so I'm going to right click and select paste. And I copied in the Wikipedia site for the 1928 Summer Olympics. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. If you want to make this internet browser object um, be permanent on this uh, website, I just need to pin that site. Let's go ahead and see how I can use this in, uh, in my notebook activity for the Games of the Olympiad. So I'm going to go to my next page. And you can see my browser here. That's just refreshing. I have my browser bar at the bottom. Notice it's pinned, so I can actually save this browser in my gallery and bring it back out, and it'll always come back to this website. So l let's go ahead and uh, have a little fun. So the first thing I can do in a internet browser that I have in my notebook page is I can select text. So I click and drag, or touch and drag, and I'm going to select the games, the the ninth Olympiad, which is the official name, and I'm now going to click and drag and move that text object up here. So you can move text directly out of the internet browser to any place on your notebook page. You can also do that for images. So let me go down, and the next thing I have is I'm asking students to find the host country's flag. There it is, the Netherlands. Here's an image, so I'm going to click and drag or touch and drag and move it to a place on my notebook page. Very cool. Let me go ahead and uh, select that rectangle which I have on my page. And notice when I do that, I now have options for changing the properties of this rectangle. I could change the fill, the line color. Let me go ahead and change the fill to something a little bit different. There you go. I could change the line color. And I can also go up here and change some other properties. I can increase the thickness of the line. So it's a really nice way to um, quickly change uh, objects. So it knows what type of object you are selecting or have selected, and it just brings up the options for that object. So you don't have to go to the Properties tab to do that. Uh, lastly, let me show you the last thing I have on this page is I'm going to go ahead and find here's the metal count which I found and I asked them to place a Olympic stamp next to the next host country uh, which is 1932 in Los Angeles so it's the United States I'm gonna click on my pen tool which brings up my options notice I have an option for creative pen and I've gone ahead and added my own image which is just this image of the Olympic rings so I've created my own creative pen. So I'm going to select that. And notice I can click and drag and I can draw with that creative pen. The instructions, however, just want me to place a quick stamp next to the host nation. So I'm just going to click and there you go. I definitely encourage you to explore the new version of Notebook, Notebook 11. And I'm sure you'll find that it has wonderful new features to help you create even more engaging lessons for your Smartboard Interactive Whiteboard.